I'm on a 6,000 mile road trip exploring the Pacific coast with the goal of knocking out as many new species as possible from my kayak. And I'm catching fish like this. <laughs> yeah, I got color. Yeah! So come along as I fish both freshwater and salt and meet new kayak anglers along the way. What? This is Field Trips with Robert Field. Look at that! That was insane! Alright guys, so I just got to Portland last night and we are on the Columbia River. Maybe one of the most beautiful and scenic rivers I've ever been on. And I'm here with Justin Wesson, Robert Perea, and Scott Northup. And we're going to be going out today for Chinook salmon. Uh, I've never caught a salmon in my entire life, so I have no clue what I'm doing. They kind of started getting out some of the rigs we're going to be using and it looks insane to me. So we're doing what's called the uh, the Brad's Pro Troll with, with a Brad's Super Bait. Okay. And we're gonna start off with a, called a Slido. And then you've got a couple of bumper beads. A bead chain, another dual lock. It's a lot more hardware than I'm used to using. It's like arts and crafts day here, man. <laughs> and this is where you put your flasher. Pro Troll. Holy crap. This is the hot tamale. This is the uh, Brad's original super bait. They come with these little rubber bands. And then what we do is we'll fill it with tuna fish. Okay, give it a little scent. Straight out of the can tuna fish. Huh. We're stuffing our baits with fish. Brilliant. Why well, have I never thought of that? Chicken from the sea. Chicken of the sea. It's just like a lot of shit. From the start to the end, yeah. You got like eight feet of, of tackle here on the. But everything has to be barbless. We'll see. Everyone tells me these guys know what they're doing, so I trust them. <laughs> Can't trust everybody. It's up to the fish, man. <laughs> all right, so we're all rigged up. We're gonna give this a shot. Let's see if we can figure these fish out. So we got a pretty simple setup here. Uh, before we start trolling, we're basically gonna be drifting with salmon eggs or salmon roe. And so we got a little three ounce weight here. Almost lost it. So this weight is because these salmon are hanging out right off the bottom. So we're gonna drop it down the bottom, a couple cranks up, and we're just gonna kind of drift with the current using these eggs. And this is the salmon roe that we're gonna be using. These are basically just salmon eggs. All these salmon have come up into this river to spawn, to lay their eggs from the ocean. And so there's kind of eggs floating around all over. And some people say that the salmon are eating them because they're hungry, you know, they got a long journey ahead of them. Uh, others say that they're trying to get rid of their rivals. Basically, you know, other salmon lay these eggs. They don't want them to reproduce. They want their own eggs to survive. So uh, kind of different theories. Some say it's just a reactionary bite. You know, this thing floats through their nest and they just smash it. So uh, we'll see, but what we do know is that it works. The way we get these eggs onto this hook, I don't even know, it's like a snelled knot, but it's got this loop. You can actually push this line back through and it creates a loop. And I'll put basically just a big chunk of those eggs in that loop, cinch it down, and that'll kind of hold them to the hook. And I'm wearing gloves because these eggs are nasty and they'll stay in your fingers is what they tell me. Decent sized chunk of eggs, put it inside that loop, and we're just gonna kind of cinch it down. And there it is. Drop this down and we're just gonna kind of drift with the current real slow and just wait for that bite. And then all hell's gonna break loose. Hit the bottom, couple cranks up. And now we wait, see if we can't get bit. Oh, fish on, fish. Uh, what? Uh, I think I'm just hung up. Wait, dude, may maybe this is a fish. I can't tell, man. Maybe this is a fish. Oh, yeah. I think I got a fish on. I can't even tell with all this current and wind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish on! I think. Yeah. What? Dude, what? 
I was like, it's kind of slow and steady. Bro, are you kidding me? Oh my God, that was the biggest, I think, fish I've ever seen. Just came clean out of the water right in front of me. I thought maybe I hooked the bottom. Then I thought maybe it was a salmon. That is an enormous sturgeon. You think that was eight foot? Solid eight footer, he says, and I am not geared up for this fish right now. Uh, I think I'm in for a ride. <laughs> Holy, I cannot believe that thing just came up like that. I'm gonna have to slow play this guy. I mean, I'm rigged up for salmon. I am not rigged up for an eight foot monster like that. Holy crap. I cannot believe the size of that thing that just hit the surface. <laughs> Woo! We going for a ride. <laughs> no way. There is an enormous fish at the end of this line. He's just steady pulling me out in the middle of the river. Oh my God, my heart is pumping. I cannot believe that thing just came up like that. What? <laughs> Bro, that is a dinosaur. Oh my God, that woke me up. Holy sh... Did you see that thing? <laughs> what? I was like, dude, it might be bottom, you know? I was like telling the camera, like, I don't even know if it's a fish. And then it started pulling drag, and then it just went straight sideways. I don't even... Yeah, dude, like, it's gonna be a while, right? Like... That was a... Dude, I can't believe that. I'm gonna fight it, dude. Like, I got it on. I mean, you guys don't have to hang out. You guys gotta watch these boats. Eventually. Is he gonna come this way on this side? Like, where do they, where do they typically run? We are hooked up to a monster, ladies and gents. I think we're gonna be here for a while. He's just kind of steady towing me around. And I don't think he's in much of a hurry to go anywhere. We're gonna try to move him out of the channel. Yeah, I say that. He's going down. That's deeper water, I'm guessing, right? This guy is so heavy. 30 pound main line, 40 pound leader. I'm definitely not rigged up for a dinosaur right now, but it is what it is. He's on. We talked about breaking him off, but I may not get another shot at a dinosaur like this on this trip, so I'm just gonna go for it. We got this tanker coming up. We gotta be real careful. I mean, I don't really have much say in where I'm going right now, but if this tanker comes, he's not gonna move for us. So I'll have to either try to horse this guy out of the way uh, or maybe just break him off. Oh, he's pulling out drag again. Heading down, straight down. Absolutely insane. Hooked up to a Portland river monster if I've ever heard of one. <laughs> my heart about beat out of its chest when that thing came up, dude. I did not even consider the possibility that it was a monster. Like, that didn't even cross my mind. That's definitely the biggest one I've seen. Oh my god, alright, alright. I don't want to screw this up, man. Yeah, and, and you feel free to keep fishing, man. You don't have to... When I get a little closer, I just don't even know if it's worth like trying to bring him up right now. I don't want a green sturgeon eight foot long next to my boat. They got some big gill rigs on the other sides. Yeah. I don't think this is like a pull up in your lap kind of fish, bro. No, it's oversized anyway. We can't get it out of the water. Yeah. I don't think I want to get it out of the water. You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me sheep. You can say I lay it. She's kind of pissed off now, man. Almost feel like she just now realized she's hooked. <laughs> An hour in, she's like, what is this? Slight sting in my face. Might be the biggest fish I've ever hooked into. Still pulling out drag. Uh, I think he's working me. I don't, <laughs> this might be my only shot at a big one. I got 75 feet of line out and there he goes. Dude, when he wants to take line out, I can feel it. It's like two slices of his tail and he's, I was 30 feet of line. 30 feet of line. I'm already cramping up. She's coming up a little bit. Uh, say that. And there goes all the progress I just made and then some. The strength of this fish is ridiculous. Every time I make about 10 feet of progress, I got this little depth counter on this reel. She takes out 20 feet right back. She acts like she's gonna come up and play nice. And then a few swashes of her tail and she's gone. She's definitely still winning this fight. Alright, this barge finally caught up to us. 
Looks like I'm gonna be okay unless she changes directions real fast. But she hasn't done much of anything real fast so far. I'm so scared of breaking her off, dude. Like, I don't wanna screw this up. She is just straight down, 80 feet of line out. And I'm just not moving her right now. Got the live Facebook feed going. People watching from home. Watching me get my you know what kicked by this fish right now. Dude, it's not moving, man. Uh, 49 feet. It's one foot at a time. Uh, oh, she's running that way. 34 feet, making progress. Watch yourself, bro. Yeah, man, it's getting a little gnarly out here. Not exactly ideal conditions for landing a dinosaur, but they are what they are. Woo. I feel like I'm out in the ocean, man. No way, dude. 70 feet of line out after 35. Uh, still at it, bro. Hanging out with my new friend. All my instincts are telling me just to horse her in, but I've just got too light a line. I mean, I'm just not geared up for this fish. And to lose her, break her off now would just be heartbreaking. So I'm just gonna take my time with her, keep applying pressure, and she'll come up. Or I'll pass out one of the two. That wind's picked up. Swells are getting kind of nasty. But I'm not giving up on her now. She's getting close, man. 25 feet. Yeah, I got collar. She's about to come up. Look at that, dude. What? Dude, no way, bro. Yeah, she's not hooked that great, man. I've got these. Look at it, dude, barely hooked. So remember that small barbless salmon hook I showed earlier? That's all that has been connecting me to this monster sturgeon for the past two hours. And it's only caught on a tiny flap of skin under her mouth. She's barely, barely hooked, dude. Took my fish grips straight back down, bro. That was sketchy, man. Having that fish around the kayak. Yeah, she right yeah. She's not hooked that well, though, man. Now I'm cramping up. This fish is getting the better of me. There she is. <laughs> Monster. Yeah. Give me those back. Insane fish, man. Hooked up to a dinosaur. Finally got her in. Kind of. Oh, no way. I'm gonna be here all day. Yeah, watch out, bro. That is what we came here to the Oregon coast to get a monster 
What do you think, six and a half foot, seven foot sturgeon? Holy crap. That fish is nuts. I cannot believe that. Huge fish, huge swells. All right, I got the hook out. She's just... And she knows it. There she went. Whoo! That was insane, dude! That fish next to the boat, that is gnarly. That is scary, man. Dude, and she took right off like nothing happened. Easily over a hundred year old fish. Uh, that is what I came up here to Oregon to get. I did not plan on getting one today. We're out here salmon fishing. And as luck would have it, giant seven, seven and a half, maybe pushing eight foot sturgeon, takes my salmon eggs. It gives me one hell of a ride. I am shot. I'm ready for a beer. You wanna go in? <laughs> He's got a beer in hand. Woo! I'm Robert Field, you're watching Yakfish TV, and that was a freaking dinosaur from the kayak. Dude, thank you guys. Justin, Scott, Robert, that would have been way, way, way sketchy on my own, man. I'm glad you guys, thanks for sticking with me, bro. You did a great job. That was crazy. Dude, my right arm is shot, man. Got my fish grip back, though. Yeah, bro. Nice, man. Nice. Kind of the uh, victory cigar. Woo! It's like a Coors Light commercial now. Catching dinosaurs, tasting the Rockies. That's a once in a lifetime fish. Dude, yeah. fish of a lifetime, out here fishing for salmon. Been out here like two hours. I cannot believe that just happened. Oh man. Oh shit! Dude, are you all right? Don't worry about your stuff, man. Just get it flipped out back over. You know how to flip it? The best way I've found to flip the Outback, man, is just get over the side of it and grab the opposite end and just throw all your weight back and it'll pop right up. These swells out here are no joke. You get one catching you sideways when you're not paying attention and that can happen in an instant. Yeah, whatever you need, man. Nice, nice. And that water is freezing, man. I feel horrible for him. You got water in your... Dude, yeah, you fill the water, man. It makes it real hard to get out. Let's get him back to the trucks, no? You all right, man? Yeah, I'm good, man. That's weird. How do you get water in? Is it a dry suit? I guess the zipper's open. It's just you should get dry suit. Ah. Uh, yeah, I feel that weight, man. That's scary, dude. It happened so fast, man. I was talking to the camera, and I just heard the splash. We can each grab a side handle and pedal you since you have a seat. Turned into quite the eventful day there, huh? It's an exciting day. That's the first. I lost the salmon rod, lost all the gear. Great one over. Don't worry, man. Could, I know, have, I know. could have been worse. Just stuff. Uh, I've got your paddle, your knife, whatever this is. Don't worry, I got the bait cutter. Fear not. It is sketchy out here with this wind. The wind is just howling now. Uh, it was super sketchy with that big fish next to me and you know, you take your eyes off the waves for one second, the wrong one hits you at the wrong time, anyone could go in. Just glad we got him back out. His dry suit filled up with water, his fly was open, so uh, that could be a recipe for disaster when those things fill up with water. Just a ton of weight to try to pull up onto the boat. So the lesson here, kids, is always close your fly. Lost his rods, lost his seat. Lost a bunch of stuff, but uh, with this cold of water, it could have been way, way worse. But he's got to be freezing. We're going to get him to the bank, make sure he's all right. Doing some extreme kayak fishing here in the Pacific Northwest. Woo! This place is gnarly, man. So we just rushed back to the launch. Going to help Scott kind of drain out his dry suit. Get him in some warm clothes. He's got to be freezing. It's not warm out here. That wind has been ripping. Uh, I can't imagine being soaking wet right now. That's, I feel so bad for him. Oh man. There we go. 
I mean, I'm cold and I'm dry. I can't even imagine, dude. I'm, <laughs> I'm, all right. I'm so sorry. Look at all that water. Yeah, that's yeah, man, I've always told people, you know, they think there's that myth where if you fill up with water, you're just gonna get pulled to the bottom, but it's not that. It's that you just can't get out of the water. Yeah. And it's just I all that not, weight. I cannot, I could not get, feel myself getting heavier and heavier. Yeah. I, have somebody there to help me. I'm not I didn't understand, you know. Yeah. Is that open zipper? Yep. Always Try check it. your fly, man. It's a good lesson for me, you know. Good yes. reminder to right. always double check. Always go with someone too. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm glad we were all here to to hell, man. Robert definitely. You owe Robert a beer. Oh yeah. He was there. He was there to get you. Brotherhood of kayaks. Yeah, man. Could have been way, way worse. That's a scary river to to go swimming in, man. I, you got a change of clothes? Uh, I've got seven I got I got a pair of socks. Um, I got an extra shirt. I'm here. I think I got an extra jacket, maybe. You're a trooper, dude. You're being a much better sport about this than I probably would be. I'd be over here bitching and moaning, and I can tell you're not a Texan. I would literally be crying right now. I'd be so cold. <laughs> Oh man, what an epic day of fishing here on the Columbia River, about an hour east of Portland. Oh my god, I came here looking for salmon and hooked into something much bigger. I'm still speechless over that, that fight of that sturgeon, that was ridiculous on that light rod, but uh, well, what an epic way to kick off my stay here in Oregon. I'm excited to see what the rest of the week brings. For now, we're gonna get home, grab a beer, eat some grub, charge batteries, and get ready to go back out tomorrow. Still gotta knock salmon off my list. On the next episode of Field Trips, I'm heading to the Willamette River in Portland to target white sturgeon with Nicholas Beston and friends. This time, on purpose. So Nicholas is gonna kinda of show us how we're gonna rig up for this fish. Nicholas came out here, he promised me some action and we're getting it. Dude, you're flying, dude. He's gotta be decent, man. We'll go over the baits and techniques to catch this species as we hook up left and right with these prehistoric fish right in the middle of downtown. Fish out, fish are crazy. Ah, feeling out drag right now. She's not happy. When that thing came out of the water, man, I almost pooped, dude.